even though you're building your assets, if you want to monetize your assets, SEO will be a way to get traffic because irresistible offer plus traffic equals money. That is a simple look, uh, 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 one of the most simple formulas I can give you guys. So join this Money Highways Ranking Bank, uh, FAS SEO Money Methods group. So we're going to come over to Google today. All right, before we get started, I want y'all to know that we're going to discuss something that is very, 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 ah, oh man, it gets under people's skin. I'll just say it gets under people's skin in the SEO world. It is something called programmatic SEO. All right, let's look at this definition. What is programmatic SEO? Now, let me just tell you guys first, before we get started, if you get offended, Please don't, because God is my lawyer, so none of this will be hate speech. It's going to be great speech. I'm only going to tell you the truth, and I pray that it will set you free in a way that you can get to the cheese. You understand what I'm saying? So let's check this out. What is programmatic SEO? All right. It says it's a method that addresses the growing amount of search traffic by publishing landing pages on a large scale. As an example, TripAdvisor has a page for almost everything travel related and so does Yelp. Okay, now we have another one that it, it is pretty much controversial. It's controversial. All right, duplicate content. Watch this. So a lot of people think that Google will give you a penalty if you uh, have duplicate content on your website. All right, so a lot of you guys might be new to SEO on here. If you're new, put it in the chat. Say, I'm new, man. Say, I'm a newbie. Saying that I'm noob cybot from freaking Mortal Kombat. And it's okay. It's all right. Here, there are no stupid questions. There are no, like, questions that are so ignorant that somebody's going to make fun of you. You can be a beginner or you can be advanced. Everybody's here to learn, all right? And you're going to be respected, all right? All right, so duplicate content is content which is available on multiple URLs. Oh, snap! Did we just cut someone? All right, so everybody is so afraid of cloning their pages out on their websites because they think they're going to get some penalty. But what does it say? It says multiple URLs on the web. Okay, that is not talking about on yours, though. This is your URL is yours. You can pretty much do whatever you want on your domain. That's why it's called a domain. It's your own. It's yours. Now, I do recommend some, uh, let, let me get a little housekeeping, okay? That you want to have at least three to 500 uh, unique words on the articles, even the pages that are similar. But I'm about to show you guys very rapidly. I'm about to show y'all some, <laughs> some examples of programmatic SEO that is high ranking, beating out everybody. As y'all saw, they were talking about TripAdvisor. And I'm gonna show y'all some examples as well um, of, of, of duplicate content, all right? So check this out. So it says, search engines don't know which URL to list higher in the search results. This is why I said, even if you're cloning out pages, you want to go back or have someone like a VA go back and at least paste something on there, three to 100, 300 to 500, or at least a little spot that's unique to, uh, uh, to that specific page. For example, I have uh, two pages for cable and internet in the same city, but they're different zip codes, but it still says Dallas on there. So I have to put something like Dallas area or Dallas city to make Google know that is a differentiation between the two pages. And I make sure I emphasize the zip codes and maybe even mention uh, some different landmarks or, or locations in that specific area that's different from that other zip code. Do y'all understand? But the rest of the content on the page can be the dang old same. So let's check this out. I'm going to show you. Let me show you, baby. All right. Because a lot of y'all or spending forever in a day multiplied by 100, creating uh, website pages and blogs and stuff. But technically, now, of course, you don't want to put crap out there. But I'm trying to show you how you can create hundreds of pages, maybe even thousands of pages within a day's time. And they can get ranked with no penalties if you do it properly. And you don't have to hire out and you don't have to uh, pay VAs or, or do anything crazy. You can clone these pages out 
If you do them, how I'm going to show you in today's class. So this will allow you to grow your topical authority extremely fast. If you don't know what topical authority is, guys, that just means you are the main go to source for whatever the topic is. And the only way that you can become that is if you touch on every topic, if you have an answer for everything that a person is searching. For example, this is high speed uh, Internet uh, provider Dallas. So I want to have all of these keywords answered on my site somewhere. They might even be different pages. And then I want to come down here and I want to have multiple pages for this and pages for this. I want to I want to touch the entire topic on my page. All right. Get some more of these keywords and some more of these keywords to touch it, because then Google will they'll round that up. They'll say, damn. They're touching every topic. This must be the go-to for this. This must be the directory or the the uh, uh, the freaking hub for this. Y'all understand? So now I want y'all to see something. We got two sites right here. This is High Speed Internet Dallas. Uh, uh, I mean dot com. I'm gonna open this one up too. High. Uh, this is broadbandnow.com. Now let's look at both of these. Okay, now I want you to pay attention to the structuring, guys, because this is exactly what you can do with your site. Even if you're not an internet, I'm not telling you to be an internet niche. I'm telling you to, to study what I'm saying. Open your mind, like Morpheus would tell you, right? Okay, look at the structure. Internet providers in Dallas, Texas. Then they got the listings just like Google My Business. They know what Google want, right? All right, and then uh, down here, all they did was they made sure they put Dallas on here and stuff. But a lot of this is duplicate content. And you're going to see that when I show you in the next example. Look, but they got Dallas. They made sure they put Dallas right there. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and a lot of this is probably duplicate content as well. There's no need to change a lot of this. But then you'll come through and you'll change the Dallas. So why am I showing you this? Because if you guys spend a lot of time or money creating long, detailed, very good articles the way that I show you with the prompts that I'm going to show you with uh, chat GPT and AI and all of that, then you don't need to create a page over and over and over for every freaking keyword, you'll never get anywhere. And Google's not stupid. Most of this, most of this information applies in every city. So why would you have to like rewrite every damn thing? Okay. So you can just change Dallas. You just put a different city. Why? Because most of these internet companies are going to have the same deal in every dang old city. So imagine you clone this out and you go to Fort Worth or you go to the woodlands or something. All of these are still probably there. You just delete the ones that are not. Boom. All right, so check this out. Then they put Dallas right there. But then this is what I want to show you. All right, they'll put something, uh, where are we at? Something specific. Okay, this little tiny part right here. <laughs> they'll go in here and they'll put um, C internet providers in nearby cities. So these will be nearby Dallas so that Google can differentiate this page from maybe like a, a Houston page or something like that. So the Houston page will have nearby cities close to it. So you don't really have to change anything, but come back through here and change everything that says Dallas and maybe apply a few things that have to that specific area or whatever, uh, uh, you know, things to do in Dallas or best restaurants in Dallas or or the, uh, a link to the Wikipedia Dallas page or the freaking Better Business Bureau or Chambers of Commerce in Dallas, stuff that would apply only to Dallas, but the rest of this stuff can be cloned out and duplicated. So yes, you can use duplicate content. Watch, I'm going to show you. All right, so remember this page. Remember this. So I'm going to close this one out. And now this is broadband now. It pretty much looks just like the other high-speed internet site. Okay, got the same site structuring. Um, you know, you see the Dallas and everything, uh, the different types of internet that you can get in the area. OK, and then they have the FAQ for Dallas, which can just be switched out. They made sure that the questions are pretty much generic questions that will be the same no matter what city is in. See, they're not stupid because T-Mobile has the same plans in Dallas than they'll have in Houston, than they'll have in St. Louis. So does Verizon. It doesn't change for the city, maybe country, but not the city. All right. And then uh, this is what they did. This is what made the page different from any other city. 
They'll go and they'll put certain locations from Dallas specifically in there in that widget. And then they'll put the nearby cities just like the other site. But everything else is the same. And I'm going to prove it. Let's get back over to Google, baby. All right. So y'all should be taking notes right now because you can do this with yours. So this should be a big weight off your shoulders. If you're building a website right now, an affiliate website, uh, a client website, local search website, whatever it is, doing lead generation, if you make a very good page, uh, long form content, very detailed infographics, FAQs, all of that stuff, is you're still answering the question. The whole point is that Google wants you to answer this question. It could care less about anything else. So if the answers don't change in the, just because it's a different city, that means you don't have to change just because it's a different city. Don't listen to these fear mongers out here in the SEO community. That's going to try to hunt me down for telling y'all the truth. So now let's go to another city just so I can prove it, because the Bible says to prove all things. Oh, look, look. Oh, my God. Is it? Could it be that is the same title, same freaking websites, back to back ranking number one and number two? But I thought duplicate content and programmatic SEO gets penalties. Oh, oh, it's even structured exactly the same. So you telling me they either use some type of software or somebody came, a VA came through manually and just changed this. They cloned the site out. They cloned all the pages after they made one very good page and it started ranking pretty good. They were like, hmm. And they just cloned it out and changed the location. Look, the same dang on internet providers and they have an offer, probably a paper call offer or uh, a CPA offer, some type of affiliate offer or whatever connected to every last one of these dang on companies. So when you come over here, it's just like Google My Business on Google. Uh, basically, a person is not just going to call one. They're going to call multiple ones before they make a decision just to get the best answer. And then they're going to pay. So they're going to get turn one website visitors to multiple commissions. All right. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I want y'all to pay attention to the questions on this site. All right, check this out. This is the same session section uh, from the last page in Dallas. So what they did was they got good questions, good questions that would fit in this niche, no matter what city it is. You notice it doesn't say in Dallas. It's just a generic, it's just a, hey, it, it, it would, it, you would be asking this question no matter what city you're in. What's a good internet speed? So they didn't have to redo this, all right? And then right here is pretty much the same major providers in every city. So they really didn't have to change anything. But Houston, you might delete one that might not be in Houston or something. But other than that, you can keep everything else. Then we got this section that can still be duplicate content, programmatic. This works, all right? The H1 works. All of this stuff works. They proved it. And then they just cloned it out. Do you see how you can build 50, 100, 1,000 freaking pages in a week's time or more? So you want to do this safely. In my opinion, and hey, listen, you know, opinions can be wrong, right? In my opinion, I would do a combination of AI, SEO, and human editing. What I mean by that is <clears throat> I don't trust... So they have auto GPT, they have these other little auto scheduling posters that these other um, um, clout chasing, I'm not dissing them, I'm just telling you that a lot of people only do these videos because they have SEO clients. So their money only comes from getting SEO clients, so they have to do catchy, cool stuff in their YouTube videos in order to get a lot of views so they can get YouTube uh, money, right? All right, but I'm going to tell you the freaking truth, right? All right. Um, like, dude, I'm not going to clone out a thousand pages overnight, because if you if you go back in those videos at the end of those videos, they have a disclaimer and that'll tell, they'll tell you that those auto posters, even though they'll churn out those pages and some of those pages might even get indexed for a minute. It'll be bunched up. It won't be organized. Some of the images won't show it'll be the structuring will be bad because those tools aren't at their best yet. They will get there one day, but not yet. So if I were you guys, I would clone these out in high numbers. But before I do thousands or something like that, I will make sure either myself or someone else, the chance, I mean, the hope is that you get someone else to do it, will go through and just manually change the Dallas and the Houston and the zip codes and all of that extra stuff. Remember this? 
Do y'all remember this from the other page? It's exactly the same. So is this exactly the same. The only thing that changed is Houston. So yes, you can do this in your niche. This is exactly the same, exactly the same. Hopefully y'all are getting some ideas right now. Start putting some of your keywords in the chat right now. Help me out, help me out. Matter of fact, there's 15 people on here. Do a freaking tiger uppercut to the like button. Do a freaking unbox high knee kick to the dang on share button. Make sure it's uh, put over there on your Facebook page so you can watch this later. All right. So as y'all can see, man, it's literally the same stuff. And then just like we predicted, they just have some uh, nearby cities to Houston. So this is pretty much the only part that changes. That's it. Like, like that's literally it. Like, that's it. Everything else is the same. Now, let's see if it's just high speed Internet, even though they're ranking the highest. Maybe Google's showing favoritism. Let's come over here. Oh, snap. This is broadband search and it looks just like the last one. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This AISE. Oh, this duplicate content. Damn, I can't even see the rest of the page. It's all white like a like a clan meeting. OK. <laughs> All right, can y'all hear me? Because uh, this it looks like it's freezing up. Let me exit out of that. All right, but did y'all see that though? Like, did y'all see that? Like, put a hashtag yes lord in the chat if y'all saw that. So we got the wine, uh, the wine hail hails in here. He said he's in a private helicopter niche. Um, Bridget, how you doing? Put your niche in there if you can. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to use programmatic SEO duplicate content to scale super fast, get a lot of traffic and sales to your sites, okay, and avoiding um, <laughs> penalties or whatever. Don't forget, internal duplicate content, as far as we know, does not have any penalties. It is external duplicate content. Now, what is the difference? Internal content, uh, duplicate content is if I is exactly what they did. They took their own content and they cloned out the pages. But external duplicate content will be as if a uh, high speed internet came right here to this site. It's like, ooh, they're ranking pretty high. Man, I like this. And then they just copy this. They took all of the content on here, press copy, came back and pasted it on here. That will get you a duplicate content penalty. Do y'all understand the difference? How are you going to get penalized for sharing your own stuff to you? Okay. So no, as long as you have things that are unique to the area on the pages and you're answering the specific question, think about this. Let's say you did all your best research on the scamdemic. We'll, we'll call it Jovic. Jovit, y'all remember, you know, what started in 2020 and supposedly ended in 2022. I'm calling it Jovit because I don't know if they still like striking channels that mention the actual name. So I'm gonna call it Jovit. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So let's say you did the most in-depth research on Jovit and you created an article about it, but you made that article in St. Louis, right? And, and uh, let's see, Jovit. Um, testing in St. Louis. Okay, <laughs> Jovi. All right, so so check this out, right? Now they created a whole new niche with that scam, right? But anyway, look. So let's say that you went super in depth and you just created the best freaking Jovi article out there for St. Louis. Okay, tell me if I'm lying. The people that got Jovi symptoms in St. Louis have the same symptoms as the people that got Jovit in freaking Kansas City or Chicago. So if you know that's true, why would you let people scare you into thinking you need to have a completely different information in Chicago on that page? Like, dude, it's the same all over the world. So the only thing you would need to do when you clone out the page to Chicago or Kansas City is go in there and change the name to, from St. Louis to Kansas City or Chicago, maybe mention some of the locations for the testing in those specific cities, and then voila, now you made it unique to that city. But all the other Jovit information is the same. Come on, man. We got to use a little bit of common sense, y'all. Now, I'm, I'm not talking about y'all uh, specifically. I'm talking about us that have uh, allowed people 
to fearmonger us for all this long time. And imagine how many sites you guys would have had built out uh, and getting so much traffic and sales by now if you didn't allow people to scare you into thinking that duplicate content is e is evil. Okay, like duplicate content is not evil. Internal. Let's see. All right. So internal duplicate content is when you have more than one page on your site. You see that they emphasize your site that is identical or almost identical to one or more pages, one or more pages. OK. All right. That's different from, let's see, external, external duplicate content often referred to as cross domain duplicates is when you have a page on your site that is duplicated on one or more other domains. These sites might belong to you, but in many cases they don't. That is what is a red flag to Google. Google is like, hold on, man. I already indexed this and this belonged to this other dude. Nobody likes a thief. But if you steal your own chain, you can't sell it to yourself and buy it back. I mean, that don't make no sense, do it. So how could they penalize you for internal duplicate content and programmatic SEO? Now, I'm going to give you one more example before I start showing you how I build this out. So I'm going to show you how you can use AI to create the programmatic SEO and the content and everything. All right. And then we're going to use duplicate content to scale. But then you'll have somebody go back and clean it up a little bit later. All right. Watch this. So, okay, so we'll say uh, best places to visit in uh, freaking, we'll say St. Augustine. I don't know. All right, so we got um, TripAdvisor. So we'll open up TripAdvisor right there. Now we'll go to another place. And um, let's see, let's say Alaska. Trying to find TripAdvisor again. It ain't on here for this one. Oh, TripAdvisor slacking on their pimping. They slacking on their pimping, baby. Let's see in Atlanta. Because I got bras in Atlanta. Credit cards and the scammers. Legacies. Phantom. <laughs> All right, so check this out. Do y'all see? Come on, man. I know y'all ain't sleeping on me. Do y'all see the exact same title? If it works, then it works, man. If it works, the scripture, the Bible says... Let all your ways be proven. Let all your ways be established. All right, so don't reinvent the wheel. It worked before, then it will work again. Now you just fire for the specific area. So you programmatic entails. All right, so that would be the H1s and the uh, A's and the head and, and certain keywords and stuff that works everywhere. So watch this. All right, I want y'all to look at the sites and we're going to see exactly how identical they are. Did y'all used to play the match game when y'all was a kid with cards? All right, we're going to do this on the site. All right, so this is things to do in St. Augustine. Now we go over here. Oh, snap. Man, I, I'm, I'm, starting to, I'm starting to get sad right here. I, I don't want to be right all the time. You know what I'm saying? You got to be humble, man. All right, so look, things to do in Atlanta. All right, so the only thing that would change because this is the programming programmatic SEO. All right. So they put that one right there and they put that one right there. But obviously the same places that you would do things in in St. Augustine won't be the same in Atlanta. So this will be the only part they would have to change right there. Now let's stroll down. Because I line ways to tour St. Augustine. And then they got just a couple places that you might want to check out. Ways to tour Atlanta. Then they got a couple places and things that you might want to do there. Then they got bus tours. Um, they got ghost tours, whatever that is. All right, top attractions in St. Augustine. Do they have this area? Top attractions. I promise y'all I didn't do this before. I promise you this is on the spot. Yes, Lord. And X marks it. Where are the money at, baby? Check this out. Then they start naming the places put giving you a little list of the 15 just like they told you they was gonna do on google y'all see this are y'all seeing it so stuff man you got a site right now that you grow i think one of y'all got an ebook that you're trying to sell look you need to create a platform and sell your ebooks on there but allow other people to sell their books on there as well kind of like an audible or a kindle and you can 
churn these pages out. You create a real good in-depth detail page. So like, like let me get a, a hashtag yes, Lord, if y'all agree that TripAdvisor did a good enough on the, uh, a good enough job on this page to answer the questions of attractions and things to do when you get to freaking uh, St. Augustine. Let me get a yes, a yes, Lord. So we got self-guided tours that are pretty much answering all the questions that someone that is looking to go to freaking St. Augustine or Atlanta is like, OK, what's the nightlife about? You understand uh, what's the first about? Like, what's the history of Atlanta? You know what I'm saying? They got all the highlights. They got the private and custom tours. They got the prices and all of that. But the the H2 and the, the, age two and the, like, the topics and all of that stuff is exactly the same on every page in every city because if it ain't broke, don't freaking, don't fix it. Don't fix it. So yeah, then they're going to have some, some content that's not duplicate because people are going to be leaving reviews as well. So that's going to help as well, okay? So the frequently asked questions. So these will be things that I would change, okay? So these pages. So do y'all see the programmatic SEO? So the H1s, the topics, the headers, and all of that, it stays the same. You can churn it out. So imagine how fast you can scale. You can create 100 of these pages. So all they did, I don't know which city they started with, but I imagine that they started with the letter E, the letter E, like on a family guy, right? <laughs> I imagine they started with the letter A. Okay, so things are doing Atlanta, right? And then they went to Austin and, and all of the, the rest of the A's. So what they did was they took one page. They wrote down the questions that people would have if they were uh, trying to go to a city. All right. Like places to eat, the top attraction, things to do, where to have fun, all of that extra stuff. So those would be the topics, the H1s and all of that stuff. They'll answer all those questions. And then when they content for all of those questions, and then they sat back like, like God said after he created the earth, he said, and he saw that it was good. All right. So they looked at their landing page and they was like, hmm, this is good. And guess what? They realized this type of landing page will be good in any city. This type of landing page would beat any other landing page in any other city because a lot of people are lazy. So my point is you create a very good, in-depth, detailed article that is answering the questions of that niche specifically for that keyword, but you use that same keyword in every freaking city and you just clone out the pages. Then you go back or have someone to go else go back and change out the stuff that needs to be specific to the location. But at least you didn't have to come up with 2,000 freaking brand new words every time you want to create a new page. Woo! If we took a weight off your shoulders, huh, let me know, man. Let me know in the chat, man. Come on, we got to be interactive, baby. Uh, Brid Bridget says, same travel information for travel nurses. Coffee and Plant says, greetings, checking in. We'll watch back after the gym. Hey, man, get it in. Get it in. Health comes first, right? That's where it's at. That's where it's at. Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys. Uh, um, <laughs> like, If y'all having fun so far, like, let me know, man. Let me know, dude. Like, Because this is what you need this week uh, or actually just from now on because a lot of y'all are creating pages one at a time and you're getting burnt out. Uh, even some of my own students, like I'm like, yo, create your pages in mass, like kill it out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like after five or 10 pages, you start even with chat GPT and these tools, you start getting burnt out. You're like, oh, God, leave. then you have to correct them and and all of that. So you will do them in spurts. You'll do them in little spurts. But you you're not consistent because it's just like tedious and there's a dang on headache. But I've been having the most fun ever. Like I don't really do my own SEO no more like I used to. But since I am coming with the course in June 17, I had to put my boxing gloves back on, become George Foreman in my old age and knock these other SEOs out and show y'all how it's really done. You know. OK, so check this out, dude. Like, ah, oh, guys. OK, first of all, if you haven't become part of this SEO group yet, you definitely want to become a part of the Money Highways Ranking Bank uh, um, Facebook group. We're going to be sharing a, a lot of free 
uh, tools and files and, and, and uh, information that you'll need and templates and stuff and prompts that you can like scale up your SEO extremely fast. So I want y'all to understand something. There is something that people believe is the sandbox of SEO. Okay. All right. So what exactly is the sandbox, the Google sandbox in SEO? In simple terms, this is sort of a probation period for new websites where certain restrictions are put on young web pages. The main reason behind this is what Google considers relevant. The search engine considers older pages to be more authentic based on rankings. Y'all need to see this. Look at the hints. Look at the hints based on rankings. So, all right, so this probation period right here, right here, usually happens to brand new websites, which is why I teach my students to do Parasite SEO instead. And if you don't know what Parasite SEO is, then you definitely want to uh, hit that little button that'll make sure my channel don't get lost in the abyss and click that little bell on there to make sure that the dinner bell rings when I'm showing you how to get some food from SEO. You understand what I'm talking about? Parasite SEO is like one of the fastest ways to rank. Some of the rankings are even overnight. Why? Because they have older pages on their domains and then you just hijack that, which is why it's called Parasite SEO. So knowing this, knowing that new websites have what? Restrictions on them, meaning you could even do a very good in-depth article and all of that stuff with GPT and all of the prompts that I give you and all of that. But sometimes it will take a while. Sometimes Google might take three months or six months or some of your pages will never show up depending on the quality of your dang on site. So how do you combat that? How do you combat that? So what we do in the SEO world to defeat the freaking uh, uh, sandbox. Well, for one, I teach my students to do parasite SEO. They don't even start on their main assets SEO yet until we have our parasites ranking. That's just a little, a little, uh, you know, nugget right there for y'all for free, right? You know, you ain't got to pay me nothing. Keep the change, right? <laughs> All right. But anyway, so then we'll link back to our actual assets um, like our main assets, because we know the DR and all of that extra stuff, page rank, all that stuff is low on a brand new one. So we'll boost up and puff up and strengthen these parasites that come with domain authority already. And we'll link back naturally to our own assets from those. Now, how do we combat the, uh, the sandbox though? You see that it says it considers older pages to be more authentic based on rankings keyword rankings. So the faster you can get some rankings on your site, the faster you can start looking more, what? Authentic. If you have no rankings on your site, then Google thinks you're just some type of uh, churn and burn affiliate site that is slapped down in the year 2015. Y'all know what I'm talking about if, you, if you're not new to SEO. A lot of those one page affiliate sites that people was just spamming up and throwing up no quality and stuff. They got tore down and people was losing a million dollars overnight and crying to their grandma, right? At the grave site. Yeah, I got dark with it, didn't I? Anyway, so my point is the faster you can get something ranking on your site, something, anything, Lord, help me, please, anything. <laughs> the faster you can start building up some trust and authority with Google. So even if you are ranking for something like super low competition, super low competition, even if it's low freaking volume, it does not matter. Google don't care about that. Google don't care about the search volume. It cares about if you're answering the search intent and if they are trusting you enough to rank you. So even if you're ranking for something like, this is something I was ranking for back in the dang on day. Like, dude, it only had like 10 searches per month. As y'all can see, it's a Facebook ranking on the first page of Google. Now, like, it's literally not, like no real authority in this. I didn't even think of how to monetize it. I was just in my SEO bag back in the day. And we that's back when you just, you know, you want to bragging rights that you was ranking, right? So I didn't even know how to monetize this mug. None of these people wanted to like pay me for SEO or nothing. But my point is this, 
it was so low competition. The competition was so low. All I had to do was I, I made one page and then I, I like went and changed all the locations and it had at least like 20 or 30 pages for all the dang on cities. And when one started ranking, a lot of them started ranking. Why? Uh, it started looking more authentic based on rankings. Have you ever heard of the tide raises all ships? Okay. Well, guess what? Guess what? Ranking one keyword raises all the freaking domain's authority, especially if you interlinking properly. So if you have a good interlinking strategy, if you didn't go back and watch the Wikipedia breakdown that I did, go back and watch the Wikipedia break breakdown on perfect interlinking strategies. Because once you get freaking uh, uh, one or two rankings, they get a, a decent amount of traffic to it. And those pages are linking to other pages. That link juice is going to be shared with those other pages. So one ranking raises all rankings. Y'all understand? So my point is, the way we've been sliding past the sandbox is we'll do a crap load of these extremely long tail, low competition keywords that we know based off of research, there's not many uh, uh, high domain authority or crazy competitive, powerful websites on the first page of Google. We'll start ranking fast for those. Remember, it's something called this right here, supply and demand. Ooh Let's get real deep into it, y'all. What's up, Bernard? Hey, hey, stick around, brother. Pause, because we are going to show you this same example with what we got for you. Yes, Lord. Okay. All right. So Bernard is one of my students. He's been in a lot of my courses, and I told him that I was going to build him, uh, the you know, this project live on here with you guys, this homeschooling site on a parasite site. And uh, we're gonna get rankings for that. He's gonna get ad money, and he's gonna get uh, uh, he's gonna get affiliate commissions from from this uh, this homeschooling program and all of that extra stuff. So I'm gonna build that out live in front of y'all, and y'all gonna get to see all of this. <sighs> all right, but anyway, so what is supply and demand? The amount of commodity, product, or service available, and the desire of buyers for it. OK, the desires, uh, desire of buyers for it. Mm. So how does that apply to SEO? Well, Google's job is this, this little box right here. Google is a genie. Google is Jafar or freaking, uh, I don't remember the blue genie, Robin Williams name on, on Aladdin. But anyway, <laughs> Google, this search box is a genie. When people come here and type in keywords, they are rubbing the lamp. Then they press enter, boom, and then a genie pops out. So Google's job is to answer or grant the freaking request or wish of the person, the Aladdin, that types in their request or their wish or their search keyword right there. That is Google's job, y'all. Okay. so. If there is demand, aka search volume, people searching, Google has to what? Supply content for that search query. That's their job. That's their only concern is to supply content that answers this question right here. Do y'all understand? So don't get caught up and the lies and the BS that people, oh, duplicate content, uh, 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 programmatic ads. If you are answering this question right here, and it's the same question that people have in multiple cities, how can you possibly change the definition just because it's a different page? Come on, let me know. I'll wait. I'll wait. Why would you change the definition just because it's a different city? You wouldn't. That means if somebody is asking for search uh, supply and demand definition in Chicago, then it's the same page. In, in Atlanta, I'm going to give them the same definition. In uh, New York, I'm going to give them the same definition. And in and, and freaking Memphis, they're going to get the same dang on definition. Woo! So it's ways that you can structure your pages to where you don't really have to change anything. So let me give you an example. 
oh man, man, like, like, oh man, this is gonna be like deep. This is, this is like, you know, and I ain't, I ain't yo, I don't have no payment buttons, y'all. So make sure y'all are taking notes. Don't sit on here thinking I'm finna sell you. So I'm not. So this would be your chance because one on one sessions do cost money. Uh, you trying to become a client is pretty much nearly impossible. And then my courses are paid courses. So between the hours and five and seven, this is when you come here to be fed without money. So I recommend that you bookmark this page or this channel or whatever you got to do, come back here and put your information in the chat. And some of these days we'll be able to get you specifically traffic to your sites, traffic and sales. Okay. So now let me show you how to format your pages specifically so that you don't have to really go back and change anything. Watch this. So let's say I'm trying to rank for best restaurants, uh, best restaurants. But I don't want it to just be a national national site or international site. I want to go through all of the cities. I want to be ranking uh, for this keyword in all of the cities, starting with the latter eight. <laughs> Look at all of these. Asheville, Atlantic Beach, Atlanta, uh, you know, Anastasia Island, whatever the heck that is. Uh, B, Brunswick, Boston, Beaufort, Barcelona, blah, blah, blah. I want to rank for all of those. All of those. So how do I do that strategically using duplicate content? Come on, man. Duplicate content and programmatic SEO. I'm getting super hype and excited on this, man. For real, for real. Because then you can turn this out. Now, be smart and strategic. So now what we need to do, if we want to do that, this is very simple. You just either tell ChatGPT or you tell Google uh, what restaurant chains are in all 50 states. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Who are these girls with you? Everybody got a nice butt at this table. <laughs> Do y'all see? You see how simple that is. So now, when you create your restaurant page, your main one, you're going to have all of these on it. And guess what? When you clone out the pages to Chicago and Atlanta and all of that, you already know is a freaking location for all of these in Chicago, Atlanta, and all of that. So that means you can literally safely clone out all of the pages. Now, what, what is going to make you have to manually go back and all of that is if you start putting, uh, um, I don't know who on here is from Chicago, but we'll say Harold's Chicken. <laughs> now, when you start putting specific like mom and pop shops or restaurants or something like that, right? Then that's when you got to manually go through. <laughs> and there's nothing but wrong with manually going through and a little bit later. But to begin, we want to structure to where we can scale out like Wikipedia and create a freaking million pages per, uh, per year, right? And get them all ranking. And then we have somebody go back and maybe put something specific to the specific city. So you have your main ones, your Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, Applebee's, Chili's, Dunkin' Donuts, Red Robin, Yum, Sonic, Chick-fil-A. You understand? You have those on there. And then later on, after it's already ranking and stuff, somebody can go back there. After you see where it lands, somebody can go back there and put something specific to Chicago. Ooh, I'm going to put that Harold's Chicken on there. They got the best freaking... Uh, 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 um, um, uh, what are those dang on hot dogs called Chicago style hot dogs with the relish on it and the pickles and the man, that mother was good as hell. Pause, you understand what I'm saying? Like when I was in Chi Town, I ain't it's dangerous there, boy, but they got some food, I ain't even gonna stunt, right? So later on, you can go back and put something unique to New York or something like that. But for now, all you would have to do is go through and change the state. You can clone out all of these pages, every city. All you do is this right here. Uh, list of U.S. cities by population. <laughs> I like to go to the Wikipedia page and then I'll stroll down. And as you can see, it will give you all of the pages by location. Now, just starting off, what I recommend is staying under, like I'll start start with uh, uh, pages around here. Cities, not above 300,000 in population, but not below, not below, where are we at? Not below 50,000 in population, all right? 
What I'm, why, do I, why am I telling you that? Because that means it's going to be enough search volume for you to get traffic, but it's going to be low enough competition that you'll know some of your pages will start ranking. And what did Google say? What did Google say? They said based on rankings. That means when you just start getting some ranking, you just need to be ranking for some, y'all. Google just need to give you an inch pause and then you can take a foot. <laughs> like an amputee. All right. Like, okay. Right. <laughs> all right. So you just need to get a couple of these pages ranking y'all just a couple. So the fastest way to do that is with programmatic SEO and duplicate content structured properly structured, pro even freaking uh, Wikipedia does it. Their H their H ones and all of that stuff, H twos and stuff, their topics, it'd be the same. The structuring right here is always like that. All right, so if, if you let somebody scare you out of this, what's up, KFC Solutions? Hey, bar, bar game. You understand what I'm talking about? Like, <laughs> if you let somebody scare you out of this easy way of doing SEO, man, you crazy as a mug, man. You just crazy. You just crazy, baby. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> so now I'm gonna give y'all some examples. We're going to take this example. I guess I can close this out. Make sure y'all go ahead and become a part of that. Uh, matter of fact, I guess I can put that in here. Oh, no, I'm out of St. Louis too long. I said here instead of her. Okay. That's the Facebook group, Free SEO. Facebook. I said Facebook. Facebook group. Okay. That's where we're going to be dropping a lot, a lot of nuggets for free. You understand what I'm talking about? And I'm not talking about chicken nuggets. So, like, you know, chill out, right? <laughs> All right. And anyway, remember this list right here. All right. At the beginning, start with cities between 300,000 to 50,000 population. That will give you enough searches, but low enough competition. Okay. Anything other than that would be uncivilized. I think I said it right. <clears throat> All right. Cool. All right, so Bridget, y'all ready? Bernard, you ready? Coffee and plants, you ready? The wine, you ready? What's up? Is everybody ready? All right, now watch this. We're just going to take this right here. We're gonna take that, like P. Diddy, pause. Open up another document. Don't keep that one. All right, so now we're gonna go to GPT. GPT, yes, Lord, baby, okay? And then this is what we're gonna do. Slide to the right, electric slide style, right? We're going to ask GPT this. What are the most common keyword? See, remember what I told y'all about programmatic SEO. You want it to apply when you clone it out. You want it to be the same topics, the same questions that people have no matter what city they're in. That way you don't have to go back and change it. What are the most common questions people have uh, before homeschooling? Hey, give me that. Give me that. It's Lord. Is homeschooling legal? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Dinner's in the oven. All right. We doggy. Okay. All right. Do y'all see? Now, these, when we put our prompts into GPT to create the content for this keyword right here, this is going to be the main hub homepage, blah, 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 right? Okay. But then we'll be able to clone that page out to every city. But guess what? Don't you think all the mothers in every city want to know this? Don't you think they all want to know this? Don't you think they all want to know this? That's why we will be able to clone a million of those pages out that will apply to every freaking city. So the only things that will change so, so we will leave out, at the beginning, we will leave out the ones that require uh, um, location-specific information. For example, if it says what states are uh, uh, is homeschooling uh, illegal or if it asks for the specific laws of a, of a specific city or something like that, that will have to be specific to that area. So later on, you can just come back in there and you can just paste in what is specific to that city. So let's count it. We got a one, a two, a three. How many licks to get to the center of the ranking strategy? 
Yes, Lord, I'm having fun. I hope y'all are too. So check this out. What about college? These are 11 questions that parents would have if they're considering taking their babies out of those demonic public schools y'all got y'all kids in right now, where they teaching them to twerk and have competitions, where they having a, a um, story time uh, about, anyway, we're not going to get into the L anyway. Uh, <laughs> Woo! But anyway, this is why you would consider homeschooling, why I've been I've been homeschooling for the past probably seven years or something like that now. Right. But anyway, so this would apply to any city. Can I homeschool if I don't have a teaching degree? What about college? Parents often wonder if homeschooling will impact their chances, their child's chances of getting into college. Many colleges and universities accept homeschool students and even seek them out due to their often unique and diverse educational experiences. So guess what I can use all of this for? I can use this to create the content, of course, but this can be used to create an FAQ section as well. OK, and then watch this. I can ask, uh, what are the top freaking <laughs> homeschooling? Companies, companies online create the H. What is this? The HTML code uh, for uh, a comparison table, including schema, uh, with these companies. Uh, compare the popularity over the years. Make sure to use different colors uh, for each of the companies. Oh, snappage. Oh, snappage. All right, Bridget says she just joined the free Facebook group. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. All right, so we already know GPT is all, you know, is only goes to 21, 2021 and everything like that. So it always got to tell you that. But then it'll give us the HTML code anyway and just, just make it up, okay? So let's see what companies it came up with. Usually I'll give it the companies because I don't know if it knows the company. Okay, it got K-12. Uh, and it's giving some information on that, K-12. Then it got time for learning. Do you see how obedient GPT is? All right. Like, I wish my dog was like that. So now we're going to go over here to, <laughs> we're going to go over here to Weebly. All right. <sighs> okay. And then we're going to come to the homeschool IQ site that we are working on publicly. It says unique visits. Three? That must be me because I ain't in 27 page views. Are y'all doing that? Because I haven't even like tried to get it indexed yet. Are y'all doing that? Let me know. Is the coast clear? Are y'all trying to play me, man? Or are we getting traffic already for something? I need to go look. I even get the analytics up yet. I don't even remember getting the analytics set up for this one yet. Let me see. Let's come to the over here. Yeah, I ain't even do none of this yet. Hmm. I don't know how it's getting traffic. Well, I ain't gonna be mad. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. <laughs> All right, so this is the main page right here, y'all. All right, so this will be just homeschooling, blah, blah, blah. But then we'll clone out this page for specific areas. All right. So we got homeschool in the United States. So I, I will the same page. This will be the same page. But then this page right here, homeschool in the United States, we'll put a little bit of content on there unique to the United States. For example, <clears throat> we'll just put a little, little um, area on there. Uh, with all the 50 states in the United States. And then it'll have a little banner over it uh, talking about these states have homeschooling programs in there. And then we'll name some of the United States based homeschooling programs, but everything else on there <laughs> based off of these freaking simple questions right here can be the same. So let's test to see if our HTML code is working. All right, let's see, let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Usher voice. Okay. Is it working, baby? Is it working? Bow. Yee. Now, I told it to give me different colors, man. But this is cool, right? This, this is cool. I, you know, like, mm, yeah, yeah. 
this ain't really a, a comparison. It definitely ain't telling me the popularity. I don't like this. Okay. No, that one sucked, sucks, but <laughs> you didn't compare the popularity. And I also told you to make it colorful. All right. So first of all, I was going to apologize, of course. Unfortunately, generating a table with a comparison of popularity over the years isn't feasible without specific data. Yes, it is, because I did it on the other class that we was on. What y'all going to find is, yeah, this must be lying a lot. It might be self-aware already. I don't even know. But it be lying a lot because it'll apologize, say that it can't do it, and then feel bad about it and do it. It'll do it. Look at it. It's putting colors in there. It's putting colors in there now. Now, when I showed y'all the internet when the other day, who was on here when I showed y'all the internet when y'all saw me get the HTML uh, uh, comparison table and the FAQs and all of that stuff and a pie chart and all of that? Who was on here with that? Because you saw it, it came with the color and it did the popularity, right? I'm not lying. I know I ain't lying, man. So this is the workflow. So what you want to do is you want to create. So let's count real quick while I was doing that. Technically, even though we want thousands of pages on this site, you're going to have top of silo pages that are going to be your main hub pages that are going to filter the link juice and the traffic through all the other pages. What do I mean? If you want to get some fast rankings, strategically structure your pages after queries that can be cloned out so that you can speedily get a crap load of pages and you only put content on there that you don't have to go back and change that much. Okay. So for example, like I told y'all, the first thing we did was up here. I asked what was the most common, the most common questions people have before homeschooling that would apply in all cities and states. So that means even when I turn out the Chicago, Atlanta, and, and clone out the freaking Memphis page and all of that, these same questions are going to be on there. They're going to be on there. Only thing that needs to change is the location, especially since these are online programs. I really don't have to go back in there and put nothing because it ain't no physical location because this is homeschooling. So I'm showing y'all a little AI SEO hacks using duplicate content. Like this is content that you don't even have to create. GPT is going to create all of this for you. I'm going to give you the prompts. So keep watching. We're going to give you the prompts and then <laughs> you're going to give me my props. No, I'm just playing. Give you the prompts. It's going to turn out the content for you. So let's go back over here and count. So technically, technically, even though you're going to have hundreds or thousands of pages on your site, what are you really going to have? Really, you only had to go and create one, two, three, Four, five. Yeah, I mean, technically, I ain't really got to do this. This one is kind of, oh, no, that's science. Six, seven. All right. So technically, we're just going to create seven very extremely detailed pages in depth, like super in depth and stuff. Right. And it will apply for everything. For example, what is the math curriculum for the blank grade? All right, so everything else on there, we can talk about math and the history of math and uh, kids having problems with math and, <clears throat> um, uh, you know, how kids can get help and why it's important for a kid to have a math tutor. All of those questions and answers can be on the page. And then we just go back later on and paste something, the curriculum that is specific to seventh grade or specific to sixth grade, or specific to fifth grade, but all the rest of the long form content, the stuff that's really getting it to rank, you ain't got to change. And it could be on all of the pages for each of the grades. Same thing with the science. Man, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Let me, let, let, me, let me get a freaking, let me get a Liu Kang bicycle kick to the like button, man, if y'all feeling this, man. <laughs> okay, so... I guess we can X out of this. Now, I want to test. Let's test this now. That one was all right, but mm, we're going to see. Come on. There we go. That's much better. They gave us some color. It still ain't tell us dang on popularity. <clears throat> Maybe. I, I ain't going to keep messing with it. We'll, we'll keep that for now. We'll keep that for now. It looked better, don't it? 
Don't it look so nice right there, y'all? That, 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 yeah, right there, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got that. And then we're going to say, right, watch this. With the common questions above, uh, give me the HTML code for, uh, what do you call it? Uh, for a an FAQ section answering those questions. Make sure the drop down tabs for the answers are different colors than the uh, the questions. Also, uh, what was I about to say? Make sure the HTML includes schema. Um, also, let me see. So we got the questions. Matter of fact, let me get the questions just to make sure. <sighs> okay, so with the common questions above, give me the HTML code for an FAQ section answering those questions. Make sure the drop down tabs for the answers are different colors from uh, than the questions. Also, make the HTML include schema. Um, what else do I want this dang on a uh, FAQ section to have? We'll see. These are the questions and answers. All right. So let's see. Let's see if it do it how we want it to. Yes, love it. I don't see nothing about schema on there. Put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. Okay, I see the schema now. All right. Man, so y'all got any uh, questions right now? Uh, uh, it did not do it how I wanted it to do it. Listen, I'm going to just put that in there, and we're going to take this. What the hell? That is not what we wanted. That is not what we wanted, man. Uh, Let's see. So we're just going to take this, and then we're going to ask it to do it over. That was not correct. All right, so let's see what it do now. What it do? Ah, man, I get hot every freaking time I go live, man. This is this is lunacy. So I like to get the code for the HTML and all of that stuff first, y'all, before I start putting the content on there, just so I can make sure it doesn't bunch up the code and, and all of the stuff be all jacked up. Come on, why I keep doing that? This is not all of the questions. Okay, got the questions. Okay, it, it only put one question in there. No, 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 no. You will need to duplicate this detail, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's do this. Jesus. I wasn't trying to, but I guess I'm going to have to. Let me share. Stop sharing that. Come in there. Then we go to uh, blah, 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 blah. So now we're going to ask it to give us. Also, I need an HTML section with different colors. All right. So boom. So I'm guessing I'm going to just have to. Damn, it's a little tremors, y'all. I just got a little. You know, we don't have full earthquakes here. We just have little. Tr little, little, like my chair is shaking a little bit. <laughs> Feel like I got one of them massage chairs or something. That's crazy. Anyway, thank God that's all we have here. No hurricane, but you can call me Slurricane. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's old school for you. Okay, so now we got to come up here and get the actual questions and manually input them because GPT is trying to piss me off today. So we'll put this in here. Wow. What's the next question? And we'll put that one in there, too. That's number two. Wow. And what is number three? What curriculum should I use? You can get the, uh, the question. How much time? This is good. This is good, man. I'm real good, man. I like good, man. Where are we at? I was a pope, nigga. Now I'm a rich, nigga. I'm getting money now. You can't tell me ish. You can find me in a four block, yeah, in a backseat, finally, nigga. All right, let's see. All right, so we're just going to get these questions and plug them in there. I know it sucks, y'all. I should have did this at the beginning. I was thinking GPT was going to be smart enough to just remember the questions that I had above, but they still working it out, man. They still working it out. So we just got, what is this, 11 questions? Yeah, so we got 11 questions. Then I'm going to put number eight right here. Y'all going to want to stick around for this because check this out. It's features on WordPress. It's features on Weebly. I like to build my stuff on Weebly, y'all. 
because it's super simple. I've been doing this since 2015. I ain't got time for the BS. Some of my sites are WordPress. Now WordPress has, has Elementor, uh, <laughs> which makes it okay and everything. But like back in the day, boy, you had to be like a developer on WordPress. It was like super difficult. I, I like to be streamlined. I like to fly. I ain't got time to be sitting there going through some dang on whole college course just to learn how to uh, put some stuff on the dang on website, right? So, yeah, I, I, I use Weebly for mine and they rank. Okay, so we got 10. So the feature that I'm going to show you, all like they have a plugin for that on uh, WordPress. On Weebly, like you just press a button. I'm not trying to diss, you know, you just press a button and you can clone the pages. So that makes it like super like easy. OK. All right. So now we're going to just call this a homeschooling FAQ. All right. So also I need an FAQ section um, separating the questions from the answers. FAQ section about the most common homeschooling question. All right. So now I'm going to copy that just in case it's been too long. And see what GPT does now. It should give us the proper HTML, y'all. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I appreciate y'all and y'all patience. And I appreciate y'all and y'all, um, what is it called? Discipline. Not being too distracted. Uh, you know, because this stuff right here, you know, some of y'all are new to this. It might be boring to you. Now, remember, I'm not telling you that you got to do this. Of course, eventually you want to outsource this to someone, but it's imperative that you at least know how it works before you start outsourcing it so that you can know that you ain't just paying somebody for nothing. I don't know why this is not doing this right. You know what? Sometimes you just got to switch over. And let me do that real quick. I'm going to switch over to GPT-3 real quick. Maybe it will refresh. Okay. All right, so let's see what this one comes up with. Maybe 3.5 is definitely faster. But in my opinion, GPT-4, like when it is working, uh, it gives you the best code and stuff with less errors. So let's see how this GPT-3 one came out. And this is why, guys. Y'all see why I'm teaching you about programmatic SEO and freaking uh, duplicate content? Do you really want to have to do this? With every page, this is why most of y'all ain't doing nothing because you like those. Like, damn, I keep having trouble creating the content. Take you forever to get one page out, and then you're gonna do that a million more times. No, no, do it a couple times and then clone them out. But you need to be strategic about it. So now let's see how the code turned out. I'm gonna put a divider real quick, and then we're gonna say we're gonna pull over the HTML. Yes, low it. Yes, low it. <sighs> And then we're going to see what goes there. Halt, who goes there? It ain't that colorful. See, this is why I use GPT-4. Because the HTML on here looks like 2013. I'm going to tell it to do it open. No. Please redo that and make it more colorful. The answers need to be in drop down tabs okay all right you see how much faster gpt 3.5 is it's still way faster than freaking gpt 4 but but maybe that's why it has so many errors errors in uh 3.5 because it's about speed and <laughs> maybe gpt 4 trying to like slow it down so it can like get it right i don't know maybe or maybe i'm just thinking too deep into it so let's see if this new code works Hey, that's a lot better. Hey, hey, but it still ain't a drop down tab. I told it I want it in a drop down tab, but I like this little box that opens up. Pause. Uh, dude, the answers are still not in drop down tabs. It should be smart enough to know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <clears throat> it should fix it. The code should now correctly display the answers within drop down tabs when the corresponding question is clicked. Let's see. Let's see. Because this is freaking a blessing right here. Cause, <laughs> so I'm trying to tell y'all, like, that's that's why I've been doing SEO lately, because it's still the damn same. These liars. I told you it can lie. It told us that it's going to be a drop down tab, but the answer is just still like right there. 
But anyway, for now, let's just move on. Eventually, GPT-4 will be back working. It probably just need a rest because I've been wearing that out. Like, anyway, I ain't going to say nothing like that on here. Uh, but I've been wearing it out like like an insanity workout. OK. <laughs> Bar. Um, OK, so now we're going to get another one. OK. Using the same data from the questions and answers uh, answers above. That was HTML. Then we got a comparison. Ah, oh, snap. Dang. All right. So let me just. OK. We ain't going to say that then. So we already got an FAQ. So we need an infographic pie chart. Okay. These are the top uh, homeschooling online program. Time for learning. K-12 Khan Academy. And what's the other one? Let's say Abeka. I never heard of it. Abeka. Use these percentages to create a, a uh, what's it called? A freaking pie chart to explain the popularity of each of the company. Make sure time for learning when. Okay. Give me the HTML code for this include schema. Also, uh, make sure each company is color on the pie. <clears throat> Use percentages. Okay, so we get some seventy percent. We give uh, some ten percent. We give another one uh, ten percent and ten percent. Okay, so now let's see what it come up with. Oof, boy, that mother go fast. It's like lightning, ain't it? It go fast. <laughs> In the code, the pie chart created the percentages of each company represents. Let's see. We'll see. Because this is GPT uh, 3.5, man. I'm not trying to rag on it, but the code has got way better with GPT 4. Now, I know it's acting up today while y'all on here. Of course, it'll be acting up while I'm live. Hey, that's good. That, that's pretty good. That, okay. All right. I spoke too soon in my usher voice. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, there we go. Now we got a pie chart, y'all. Now we got a pie chart. Yes, Lord. Okay. So now we're going to separate that one. Do y'all see what we're doing here? So the goal is to answer the question. Okay. We want to give as much help about answering that homeschooling question or questions that people have when it comes to the page illustrations, uh, you know, people are visual learners, okay? So illustrations, anything explaining that's expressing uh, uh, what it is, you understand what I'm talking about? That helps. Why is it saying I'm supposed to be on a podcast interview right now? We're lying. That ain't until tomorrow. All right, so we got the, uh, what is this, a comparison table? We got the FAQ, I got to go back and fix. And we got a... Uh, the pie chart. Now we're going to get the borrow graph. Yes, Lord. Okay, so now, okay, using the using the same information as above, give me the HTML code, including schema for a borrow graph on these. Remember the initial. Okay. So now let's check this bar graph out. Let's see what it does. Whew, GPT 3.5. I wish GPT 4 had the same speed. I'm in love with that speed. I got a need for speed. You heard me. Do you how mad? Okay. Now let's see. Let's see what this one turned out like. We doggy. We doggy. Hey. <laughs> Tell me this ain't killing it, y'all. Tell me it ain't killing it. Tell me it ain't killing it. Don't that look beautiful? Don't that look pretty? Because I couldn't do this. You know what I'm saying? So if you think GPT ain't worth purchasing now, I ain't got no affiliate link or nothing like that. But if you think that ain't worth it, dude, like, I don't know what's up with you. <laughs> I don't know what's up with you because, like, that's that's definitely worth it to me. All right, let's see. Uh, 
Now we're going to see if GPT-4 had a nice little break. Okay. So we'll come back up here and try to get the HTML code for that FAQ section again. Okay. Did we make sure we got the schema request? Okay. We got that in there. Include schema. Okay. Now let's see if it does it better. Uber, nobody does it like you. Yeah, I remember that commercial. All right. <laughs> so let's see if we can get a way better uh, code because right now, is you know the HTML. I mean the uh, the what is it called? The freaking um, uh, the FAQ section ain't ain't matching to these mugs. These mugs look way better than this FAQ section. So after, it, just in case y'all wonder what we're gonna do after this, uh, after this we're gonna create the content for the page using those questions from above, right? Or from those questions from earlier, right? So right now we just got this on here. It's like, okay, this is blank. This is this, this blank. It ain't telling me nothing, baby. It ain't showing me nothing. And it, is, it ain't showing me nothing. But I want to put, I want to get this stuff right first. Then I go and put the content on there. So just in case y'all are wondering, it would wait, it would be, I would be done by now if I wasn't explaining everything and trying to show y'all this and stuff. So technically you would be able to get this done. A one page would be done in, within maybe five to seven minutes if you you know you got your prompts and everything right that i'm gonna give you right so let's see but don't worry remember all you have to do is get it right once and then any keyword that is similar to this you'll be able to clone out the page you'll be able to properly legally use programmatic seo and duplicate content because we did it right remember we asked gpt what are the most common questions, meaning they apply in every city and state. So that means we don't have to go and change it. That means it's okay for duplicate content. Oh, snap. Eesh. Damn, it kind of made it worse. At least it had the colors. Man, what's wrong with GPT-4 today, man? No, look, man, come on, dude. Oh, you got to do faster than that. No, I'm just like, you <laughs> got to do better than that. Fix this code before I come over there and knock your... No, it's a <laughs> Just fix this code. All right. Don't apologize if you ain't going to fix it. GPT getting on my nerves today. However, you want to stick with vanilla HTML, you could try something like this. But hurry up. What you doing? Continue. I'm going to try something like this. I ain't even doing nothing. There's some, I don't know. H GPT-4 must be under the weather today or something. Is it giving y'all problems from y'all side? Let me know. Who been using GPT-4 today? Because I use this mug a lot, man. And it ain't giving me issues until I get on her live. <laughs> Maybe it's camera shy. I got stage fright up in this mug. You are on the spot, GPT-4. But please do it right. Please do it right. I found you, Miss New. New New. Okay. So this last shot, I'm going to get it as HTML. Then we're going to move on and get the content. Okay, we're going to get the content for this page. So remember, technically, we only need seven, about seven pages. But you can start with three or four. What I mean by that, okay? Like for this, the homeschool curriculum, if you're going off of a, a company, the curriculum is going to be the same in every freaking city. So you're only going to create one page talking about the homeschool curriculum, but then you're gonna clone that page out to multiple cities, whatever keywords got search volume that you know, you're gonna clone it out, but then you'll have someone go back in and just change the city, change the keyword, the city, the location and the keyword for, on the pages. That's the only thing that you have to change. So you, so you can literally, by tomorrow, if you stayed up a couple more hours, <laughs> you can have a couple hundred dang on pages. And they'll start ranking with no penalties. Yes, Lord. All right, so let's try. If y'all, yo, it, dude, let me know if you're going to try this, man. Let me know if y'all going to try this. Are y'all taking notes? All right, man. Let's see. If it drop down, I'll leave it alone. Drop down and get your eagle on. Let's see. It's dropping down, but I can't even see the dang on answers. Jesus. Okay, we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it for now. It tried. We're going to leave it for now. I'll come back tomorrow maybe for that one. So now we're going to create the content. So what we're going to do, we need to keep them same questions. Okay. Did we get the bar graph? I think we got the, yeah, we got the bar graph. We got the 
We didn't get no infographic. Ah, okay. We got to get an infographic. I forgot about that. All right. All right. So now using the data that you know, give me the HTML code uh, with the schema included explaining explaining uh, five steps to start homeschooling your child online. Look at this. So guess what? Will I have to, come on, let me know in the chat, true or false, true or false. I will, I, I can legally use this same infographic on every page that I create on this homeschooling site. True or false, true or false that five steps to start homeschooling your child online applies no matter what city you're in. True or false, true or false, let me know. Because I needed to sink into your head so y'all won't be sitting out there creating new content for every single page for keywords that's pretty much similar. If you have keywords that are similar, almost identical, why are you creating uh, different content? You're just taking all your time and wasting it. Okay, so using the data that you know, give me the HTML code for schema included uh uh, with schema include, included, explaining five steps to start uh, start homeschooling your child online. Uh, separate each step um, with different colors because I want this to be colorful. I got to keep on telling it that. Um, use numbers for each step. No images. All right, so let's see what it comes up with. It's kind of going slow. I'm guess I'm guessing I went back to GPT four. Yeah, I'm back at GPT four. Home, not sweet home. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all learning something here, man. Y'all learning something. All right, so I like I like to have multimedia. You understand what I'm talking about? I want to give as much as I can give as much as I possibly can when a person searches for a specific keyword, as much as I can to answer that question. And you should feel the same way. Your images should be answering that question. Uh, your content, meaning your text, should be answering the question. The videos on the, uh, the page should be answering the question. The infographic, the all of the, everything that you have on there should be answering that question that is uh, uh, that a person searched on Google. Don't worry too much about backlinking right now if you got crappy content on the site. Google does not hate AI content. Google hates trash content. Y'all done heard me say it before. Yes, Lord. All right, so it's giving me all of this information, but I don't care if, it, if the code don't work. So let's go up here and see if the code is working. Okay, so we got another one. Another one, palette voice. Okay. Let's go ahead and put another divider. I think this is looking pretty good as far as like the the like the HTML and all of that extra stuff. And when a page refreshes, it moves and does all the little little stuff stuff, right? That's cool. That's pretty cool to, to get that up out of GPT. Okay. Now please get this right the first time. Come on, let's get a good infographic. Yeah. We got a decent infographic. It's all right. <laughs> It's all right. You know, usually you want the ones with images and stuff, but for now, like, it's all right. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll probably tell it to change the colors later or something. Right? So now we got, look, we got a comparison table. We have a freaking uh, AQ that I got to switch out. We have a pie chart. We have a popularity bar graph, and we have an infographic. Infographics can be ranked on the first page of Google. Um, um, Bar graphs can be in the feature snippet area on Google. So can pie graphs or pie charts. And you already know the FAQ section be on the first page of Google all the dang on time. And when you look up anything about pricing, they usually have in the snippet feature section a pricing comparison table. So I'll go and fix this and do all of that extra stuff like that later. But what I want to show y'all is the structuring. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to come back in here now that we got all of the like, infographic stuff and all of that extra stuff we're going to 
get the prompt to create the actual content of the site. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to come over here. Yes, Lord. We're going to come over here. And we need them dang on keywords again, don't we? Damn. Okay. Let's see if I can find them keywords. I think this is to 11. And then we're going to put this in here. Wow. So we put that in there. We'll say in homeschool, we're going to change that. Homeschooled children go to college or universities. That's a better way of writing that. All right. So now pay attention. Write a detailed article using each keyword as an H1 and use each keyword at least once in each paragraph where it makes sense. Also include uh, related keywords as the H2s. Okay. Then we want to say give bullet points. Give bullet points to emphasize each fact. All right. So the reason why we want to make bullet points and stuff, we want to create something called snippet bait. All right. So we don't want the content all bunched together and everything. We want to make it to where it's separated enough and with definitions and all of that to where we can bait Google to give us a snippet, snippet feature. Okay. So give the pros and cons of homeschooling. Also, Also, include links to videos, include URL links to videos uh, explaining how to homeschool and use the keywords as the anchor. Okay, now let's see what happens. Is it going to give us some good kind? Oh, snap. Hold up. Why is it still time? Ah, I still had this right here. Still got the internet crap in there. Hold on. My bad, y'all. Got to change this. All right. Okay. I also wanted to, let's have a little bit of fun. Write it using metaphors to emphasize points and reference uh, famous celebrities that, that were homeschooled as well. So now, because a lot of y'all are like, man, GPT, you know what I'm saying? Give everybody the same content, Mo. You understand? We all going to get duplicate content penalties. You got to be specific with it. If you know what to tell GPT, if you talk to it like a, a VA, talk to it like somebody you're paying to create content. Hey, don't do this. Don't do it. You better leave this out. Don't leave that out. You talk to it like that, it's going to give you the best content. Watch this. Watch this, baby. Uh uh-uh, uh, baby. Let's do this. Come on, man. Taking all day, baby. Okay, so here is the start of the article based on your guidelines. Note that due to the nature of this platform, I'll only be able to provide the excerpt rather than a full article with each paragraph being at least 500. Okay, so as you can see, it gave us this. <laughs> okay, look. Okay, so it's looking nice. Picture homeschooling as an expressive dance. So, <laughs> hey, remember I told it to give metaphors, use metaphors and everything? This is awesome, right? Okay. It's a form of education that dances to its own beat. And yes, it's entirely legal. In fact, it's much like jazz music. While there is rules and structures, there's also a lot of room for improv- uh, improvisation. Just like any legendary jazz musician would tell you, understanding the basic structures in our case, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, all right. So as y'all can see, it's doing it. And remember when I was telling you that I wanted it to create snippet bait and uh, use bullets, uh, uh, bullet points to, emph- uh, to emphasize points? Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. You wanted to give you structure and like that and everything. Now, I don't know why I was doing this right here. Like provide more details and answer, continue in this in this manner. It ain't got to tell me that. Okay, but anyway, what we want to do, we can fix that on the site. Continue from exactly where you left that off from. And remember all initial, I'm going to copy that because it's going to stop a couple times before I finish. So how do I know when it's finished, guys? When it answers all of those questions. So we go back up here. Where we at? We had where we at? We had eleven questions. So when I see eleven H ones, that's when this article is finished. Now you tell me what you think. 
is answering 11 of the most common freaking questions in homeschooling. Plus, it's going to have all of this on there, all of this stuff illustrating the best companies and homeschooling programs and all of that, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to fix the FAQ section. Me, my FAQ sections are super freaking long. So like a lot of people just have five, seven questions in their FAQ. I'm going to have maybe 20, 30 up in that mug. My goal is to do whatever we got to to get on the first page, whether that's with a person going to the URL, whether we get the feature snippet, whether we get the FAQ section, whether what it does not matter. We need to get on the first page of Google. Do y'all understand that? Let me know. Let me know if you understand that. We want we want all of this stuff on the first page of Google. You understand what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. Okay, so now we got that. Do y'all see how every section is creating the bullet points right there? Woo! This is looking good, baby. I am getting very excited. How y'all feeling? Let me know how you feel. Dirty South. Can y'all really feel it? You understand what I'm talking about? Okay. So the structuring like this is going to allow the baiting of the feature snippet. In case y'all don't know what a feature snippet is, let me come over here and uh, um, what's the best internet in Mexico? Ah, no, that, that's not a feature snippet. But definitely want to be able to get the people also asked or something. Um, uh, Spectrum packages versus Verizon packages. Trying to show you our feature snippet. Okay, very good. <laughs> All right, so some search queries have them, not all, but we want the feature snippet. So, and we want the FAQ. As you can see, Google is trying to make it to where people ain't even got to go to your website. So this is what y'all want to be trying to do from now on. Try to make it to where people don't even have to go to your website to get the answer, but they're still going to go to the website to hear more if you, uh, if you answer this properly and make it to where they want to learn more, right? But check this out. The this person is going to, that's the same thing on internet company I was showing y'all the example of with the programmatic SEO and the duplicate content earlier. High-speed internet. Look, they got the, the freaking feature snippet. This gets all the, like a, a crap load of the traffic. And then imagine getting the FAQ section and then imagine ranking up under here a couple of times. Yeesh. Okay, so that's why we want to create like snippet bait. You understand? So that's why I told GPT, <clears throat> for to format it like that. So what number are we on? How can I balance homeschooling with work? Okay, continue. What number is that? How can I balance? That's only number six. So we got five more questions and then we'll be able to paste this on the home, the uh, the site page. And then I'm gonna show y'all how to clone it out. I'm gonna show you how to clone it out, baby. I'll teach y'all to stunt. Yeah, I don't know about that. Ah, man. Uh, how do I ensure my child is learning at the same level as their peers? Or if you're from St. Louis, peers. <laughs> They're peers. You don't really know how you sound until you move out of St. Louis. But <laughs> peers, right? They're <Yo>, peers. <laughs> like, yeah, man, my peers be hating on me. Cause all right, so can you get homeschooled? Okay, so that's the last one. Nope. We got what, three more or something. So it's almost done, y'all. Almost done. And this article, oof, we're going to do a word count, too. See how many words in this article. Just in case y'all wonder, like, man, is this thing content, man? Like, dude, is it going to, like, give us enough information and stuff, Mo? Yes, it is. It is. Look, if you struggling trying to get a lot of uh, good content for a specific article, you don't have enough questions in that article. The questions need to be different too. Like, look at this. Like, it has to give me information on all of these. So if you, the more questions you have, you know what I'm saying, the more information is going to give you. So if you're trying to figure out how to make your articles longer, don't just tell GPT, hey, make me an article on going fishing. Like, dude, you got to give it like, hey, what about 10, 15 dang old questions about fishing you wanted to answer? So then it'll have to answer all of those. You don't tell it, hey, give me a 2,000 word article because then it might start repeating the same thing on crap. 
So if you wanted to go over 2,000 words, the best way to make it go over 2,000 words is to give it uh, many freaking questions that you need answers to. All right, so what number are we on? Is that it? Uh, nope, it is universities. That's the last question. Almost done. Then we just play the copy and paste game over there. So y'all getting sleepy? Are y'all getting sleepy or are you still learning something? Let me know in the chat if this is valuable to you. Are you going to be able to take this and use this to scale up? And I'm going to show you in a minute what I'm talking about. Now, like I said, you can use auto GPT. You can use the WordPress plugin to clone out the pages and stuff like that. But it's a lot of mistakes that those things make. So I would recommend cloning it out how I'm going to show you today. So it's, it's still automated. It's still like... It's still super simple and still way faster than going through and copying and pasting all of the pages. So I'm going to show you now. Now that the article is done, y'all, we can start the fun part. We can start the fun part. Okay. So now we got this right here. So now we just start copying and pasting. Uh, let's see. I would rather for the FAQ to be above that. Put that right there. Boom. Okay. So now we're going to get some content. Copy this. I usually don't copy it straight into uh, Weebly, but, um, you know, GPT-4, they claim to have fixed that dang on issue, right? All right, so now we're going to get this. Bow. I'm going to put that right there. I like the way I put that right there. <laughs> it's Lord. I like it when you're doing that. <laughs> it sounds like a little squirrel. I like the way she bring it back. Am I mean for that, y'all? No, I ain't mean. Okay. So now, got this one, put that right there. I'll make this a little bit tinier, okay? So remember, we're just making like one page extremely good and we're gonna clone it out legally with duplicate content. I'm gonna show you how to modify it so you don't get in trouble, baby. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put that right there. And then I'm gonna get this right here and put this right here, you see, like so. I don't know why it is all in this color right here, but I'll go ahead and uh, do that. How you do that there? Okay. All right. So if y'all want to, y'all come through and y'all can like watch this over and pause it and read like the content and how I made it do it. Like it is using metaphors and all of that extra stuff, you know? Uh, so we're just naming his page homeschooling pretty much you could just leave it at that homeschooling are the uh, you know the we could put a little something like this pros and cons pros and cons ins and outs boom and then i'm gonna shrink that pause i don't know why i just do this man all right publish come back and pretty it up later maybe even uh yeah, it won't let me do that on here because I ain't I ain't by the dang on plan or whatever. But anyway, all right. So we'll go and now we'll put some more content. I like to separate the 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 freaking you know HTML stuff from the content. Fix it up a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna get the next one. Bow. All right. Now, one thing I want to say, guys, don't waste your dang on time sitting trying to make everything all uh, perfect and pretty remember like i said you can have somebody else manually come back and pretty things up right now you need to be getting indexed remember what google said earlier it says it can pull you out of the sandbox based off of rankings so the faster you get to ranking the faster you get to ranking the faster you'll get out of the sandbox. So you need some of the pages to at least start ranking. So if you're sitting here and trying to be the freaking Michelangelo, uh, 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 freaking Leonardo da Vinci, the uh, the Monet, the Manet, the freaking Rembrandt of a website building, then it's going to take you forever. It's going to take you forever. Now, I'm not telling you to put crap out there because obviously we're still putting out some good high quality. This is this some good high quality H2O <laughs> in my freaking Adam Sandler water boy voice. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you still putting out some good content, right? But what I'm saying is don't worry about, our, okay, man, we need to space this like this and 
Then we're going to space that like that. Then we're going to do this and all of that, man. Okay. You can take all day if you want to. We're going to be ranking in the meantime. You understand? In between time. Okay, so now we come and we get this one. So basically, we only got 11 questions, but they're the most common questions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to put it like in the like a little uh, like key points and stuff like that section, because I noticed that a lot of the higher ranking sites do that as well. So they have the questions broken down in long form content just to go in more depth. But at the top of the freaking uh, site, they'll have the key points up at the top so the person can get a pretty much like a preview of what they're going to be reading in the article. Y'all understand that? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Do, 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 do. Okay. We got that. I don't know why I got that. I'm unable to provide a full article here. Ah, man, they be playing. They be playing, baby. And make sure that's all black because I be dressing all black sometimes. Sometimes I'll be jumping out of trees and camouflage. That's that old school real Wayne before all the craziness, in case y'all ain't know. All right, so now we got the curriculum right here. That's my alarm letting me know I'm supposed to abandon ship, but I'm going to stay on here with y'all for a minute for homeschooling, just so y'all can see the cloning part. You know, I want y'all to see the cloning part so that you can know, like, damn. All right, so basically all I really have to do is go hard on one of, you know, on the hub page, the top of silo page, all right? Now, of course, this doesn't apply to interlinking, you know, what we're going to be doing with our interlinking strategy. So I'm going to show you all that in the meantime, you know, a little bit later. Uh, but today we're talking about how to get these pages indexed rapidly. So you ain't just sitting and waiting around. You understand what I'm talking about? Okay. So y'all see how that look, man? That's looking pretty damn good. Like I said, you can come back and have somebody else, like maybe space it out a little bit so it's not, uh, you know, uh, bunched up on each other or something. You know, maybe do a little bit of something like that. So like I said, this is the only page, you know, the main one that you're going to be cloning out. That's the one you might spend a little bit of time, you know what I'm saying, dealing with cosmetics and quality because that's the one that's going to be representing a lot of the site, okay? All right, so we got that right there. And now we're going to come and get another question. You see, but we'll travel along, singing our song side by side. Yes, Lord. Okay, let's get the question, the answer for this. And this should give you some type of, give you a sense of how to approach the remaining topics in a creative, engaging way. Please do. Okay, so make sure you ain't getting this part right here. It's telling me that it can't give me too much. Okay, so don't get the stuff when GPT is trying to talk to you, telling, like explaining stuff in the middle of the freaking content that it's creating for you. Like, dude, like, dude, why are you like, you're going to expose me when people read when they visit the site? They're like, why are they telling me this? Okay, all right, boom, all right. Oh my life. I pray for the GPT and I thank God that I that I find it. Yes, Lord. Okay. <laughs> Cause this is candy from a baby, y'all. Y'all have no idea. Y'all have no idea how long a lot of y'all are new to this. So y'all have no idea how long it took to do SEO. And all of this extra stuff. Now, like I said, you still want to, you know, make sure everything is is up to par and and accurate with the information and all of that. But like I said, once you get, you know, you fact check one of the dang on pages, the main page and all of that extra stuff, <laughs> then you can start flying. boy. what do they say? You're off to the races. Yeah. Then you're off to the races, baby. You know, instead of spending all your time doing this thing on um, part, you just do it once or twice or a couple, whatever your page is about, whatever your site is about, your keyword, make sure you have a lot of similar keywords because, okay, um, how to, uh, okay, what to do if a car gets wet or what happens if your car gets wet and what happens if your car gets rained on? That's pretty much the same thing. They're different keywords, 
but they're pretty much the same dang on thing. So that means you could clone out the dang on page. Like, why would you have a whole, if you go and create a whole new article for that? So no, you're answering that keyword the exact same way. You know what I'm saying? You just clone the page out and you name that new page the other keyword that is similar to it, but you cloned the page out because it's still answering the same question. What to do when your car gets wet is the same thing what to do when your car gets rained on. Because when your car gets rained on, it's wet. Okay, so let's pray that we can get some of these snippets for this. All right, so what you want to do, this works very well with long tail, low competition, high volume keywords. Now check this out, y'all. Just in case this mug cut off, it is looking like it's about to, I can't even see the mountains no more. And it's about to be one of them Panamanian thunderstorms out in this mug, it looked like. I don't hear nothing yet, but I just saw some lightning. And when the thunder rolls and the lightning strikes, that's some country music for y'all. Y'all ain't know I knew that. Okay. You ain't even know it. See, so we almost done. We are almost done. Will my child be able to socialize enough? Okay, let's see. These are all questions and concerns that an, a, a parent would have. And you can come through and you can change these. Maybe GPT uh, didn't get the exact keyword that we want. Maybe this is uh, searched a different way. For example, a person might search, um, you know, what is the social life or how does homeschooling affect the child's social life? So I'll change it. Let's see, because I know that that's something I would search versus will my child be able to socialize enough? How does homeschooling affect, is it affect or effect? That pisses me off. Why would they, why would they do that, man? Affect, I think it's affect. <laughs> what does, how does homeschooling affect a child's social uh, skills? I guess we'll say social skills or social life, whatever. It's the same thing. All right, boom. And then we answer the question. Y'all see how simple it is. The same question that we had up in the FAQ, pretty much. We just go more in depth right here in the article with this. And we use the, uh, you know, like a pretty much state, straightforward, um, what do you call it? Uh, infographic. Like all of the information was biting off of each other. So we ain't have to think too hard, y'all. Like, dude, this is crazy, right? This is like super simple. All right, y'all think this simple? Let me know. What y'all think? Is this hard, pause, or is this simple to y'all? Because it might be simple to me because I've been doing this for a long time, and especially since we have the new addition, not the music group, but the new addition of AI helping us out. This is just candy from a baby. I'm a bully. I am a bully. This is candy from a, I'm taking candy from a baby. I need to be put in time out. Okay, let's see. Like I like to delete those spaces just in case that's like invisible GPT code or something that's in there. I'm paranoid, so I just like to delete the space and stuff just in case. All right, but I'm not going to delete this space like how this is. That's perfect for the bait, the snipping, snippet bait. Okay, so I'm going to divide it. I divide all the sections. And then I think this is the last couple questions. And then I'm going to show y'all how to clone it out. I'll show you how to do this, son. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to see it cloned out. How uh, You can make a million freaking pages in a couple dang on days, and they won't get penalized because you structured it to where it is answering questions that everybody in every city would ask. So the only thing I'm going to have to do when I clone a page is I'm just going to go in there and it's going to say in Montana. So I'll just come in there and change that. Every time I find the word, you know, homeschooling, you know, Montana. Picture Montana homeschooling. But you want to make sure it makes sense. Don't just go in there and stuff the keywords in there. But instead of in my area, it'll be in whatever the city is. Do y'all see how simple that's going to be? <laughs> okay, so let's go back to where I'm at. Okay, I'm down here. All right. So like everything else will be the same because all this information applies. It applies to those areas. OK, I mean, it applies. Like, don't blame me, man. 
Don't kill the freaking messenger. It actually applies. There's nothing I can do, baby. I can't do nothing about that. You understand? Like, because human nature is like, why? Why? Tell them that is SEO hacks. Why? Why? Did he rank it that way? <laughs> Did he rank it that way? Okay. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna make y'all suffer. All right. So <laughs> just having a little fun because it's getting late over here trying to keep myself up. All right. Pause. All right. Let's see. So one more question after this one, and then we'll commence to the cloning, not the sheep, the pages. We'll clone the page. Okay. <sighs> okay. So y'all see how this is like super tedious and stuff. And if you ain't got no music playing in the background, like I got y'all on here with me. Usually if I'm doing SEO myself, I would have music playing in the background or something. You understand? But if you don't got no music, if you don't got no music playing in the background or or something, boy, yeesh, boy, this, this, this can, you know, take a toll on you. So this is why you want, when you first start a brand new site, you want to give yourself the fastest and best and the most simplistic like methods to ranking y'all. You understand? Like don't get caught up in the bull crap that people be on, like trying to scare you and stuff. You understand? No, no, no. Don't get caught up in there. You understand? You can use duplicate content as long as it's internal duplicate content meaning pages from your own site, and as long as Google can differentiate the pages. So you're not just going to only take this content and just clone it out. Each page needs to have something different about it because the whole point that people are trying to scare you about is that Google needs to know which page they have to rank for which, uh, which search query. So all you have to do is go in there and change the similar search terms or keywords to the other specific uh, search term that a person is looking for, for that keyword that might be a little bit similar to it, okay? And put a little bit uh, different content on there. That's why I say, like, shoot, you, I recommend maybe 300 to 500 uh, uh, unique words on each page. Even though you cloned out the rest of it, maybe like each page will have uh, maybe 300 each uh, words. Like I was saying, like I'm going to show y'all in a minute. You'll see what I'm talking about, baby. You're going to see what I'm talking about, man. All right, so look, is that 11? I think that's, yeah, that's 11. We did it. We did it together. We persevered. We endured. You understand what I'm talking about? Okay, so now this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do, man. So this is homeschooling in the United States. I'm going to delete this page. We're just going to start this one over with the clone. Okay, we are back. I don't know why I got Mont Montana right here. All right. So this is the keyword right here. And I'm going to link it to this home page. Home schooler. Boom. Get that signal to, to Google. Let me get another one. Link it to this home page. Okay, there you go, Google. Now you know what I'm talking about. All right. <clears throat> so now this is the moment of truth. And I just want to congratulate those of you who stayed this long to learn about SEO that's programmatic. And you want to make sure that you do the, uh, a good job with what's programmatic so that it won't, it won't become problematic. Yes, there's bars right there. Okay. Uh, DeWine said, I tried making charts and pie graphs using GPT and copying and pasting it to my Weebly. It didn't come out right. I have a Weebly page I would like to share with you. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, pack you say, so can it write code properly now? Yes, it can. You just, Sometimes you got to, you know, switch back and forth between 3.5 and, and, and 4 and stuff like that or give it a little break, refresh the page or something like that. Uh, Bernard says, oh, wow. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Oliver said, what kind of havoc are you creating now, sir? Hey, Look, I just want y'all to be able to, you know what I'm saying, get y'all sites ranked uh, without it taking your whole life. Business is just one aspect of your life. You understand what I'm saying? You, you're not supposed to give, like, dude, like, you, you got a personal life, you got health, we got, we got all this stuff. So we need to figure out how to, like, you know, 
section things. It's okay to be in business. It's okay to work on your assets and build your assets and make money and stuff, but it shouldn't take up your whole life. So doing it like this will allow you, you know, more time or you can have your VA, but they still like will be able to get like way more out for you. So if you, you guys have been on here from the beginning, those of you who've been on here from the beginning, I showed y'all the examples of like a uh, home advisor or, 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 or I mean, trip advisor and stuff like that, where they use duplicate content, programmatic SEO, and they're ranking at the top of the dang on search engines for every freaking keyword they're going after. So it's a superpower. People are lying to you, scaring you away from your rankings. So now look at this. So this is like on a one to 10 scale, guys, being honest, on a one to 10 scale, besides the fact that I got to redo this FAQ, but on a one to 10 scale, how helpful do you think this home schooling uh, um, uh, page would be for a new person that is uh, trying to figure out whether or not they should homeschool their kid? Do you think we answered all the questions? Is homeschooling legal? Is, you know, the regulations? Uh, can home school children go to colleges or universities? You understand? Why is that one up here? Ain't that another one down here? Yeah. Why is that one up here? I don't know. I probably have to like, let me get that one out of here. I don't want no issues. Let's get that out of here. And then get that out of here to there. Boom. So now it looks a lot better. A lot better. Let's say better. OK, and then what we can do just in case, y'all, you know, like, OK, y'all's real or David, we need some more. We need some more imagery. OK, so we'll come to this right here. This is Microsoft's version of <laughs> if you want to call it mid journey or, or Canva AI or something like that. And why is it looking like? Oh, here we go. Um, give me pictures of happy people homeschooling there. All right. So right now it's generating designs for you. So that way you guys aren't going to Google and, you know, using like other people's images and getting in trouble and all of that. So we can take, you know, look, homeschooling with a smile, learning with joy. You understand what I'm saying? So we can basically download this, we download that, we download that, download that. So my recommendation for a site, guys, is, you know, maybe 10 to 14 uh, original images and videos. And that's another thing. Thanks for reminding me. GPT didn't give me the freaking videos. You forgot to give me the dang on videos. Links. Anyway, let's come back over here. But yeah, so we'll put images in between these blank ones and stuff like that. So uh, I ain't gonna hold y'all because I'm freaking tired and stuff. So I'll come back up in there and do that. So basically I get like 10 to 14. Y'all see this on the next live stream or something like that. But on the next one, I'll take another one of you guys' sites and show y'all how to do the exact same thing. All right, but what you wanna do is when you download these, you wanna put in the metadata, the keywords. So, for example, the keywords will be homeschooling, you know, home education, that type of situation, home school, on online homeschooling programs. You put that you want to name the images that and put it inside the metadata. If you guys know what I'm talking about, if not, then I'll show you all that tomorrow. Lars will. OK, but all right. So now. All right. So there we have that. Cool. So now we're going to clone this page out. Here's the fun part. I mean, they got the keywords in here, but we'll just leave it right there. Homeschooling, homeschooling, homeschooling. All right. Copy. Eee! Oh, my God. Do y'all see that? It's down here. Homeschooling right here. And I'm going to bring it up. Let me, we're going to name it homeschooling in the United States. Because that was the keyword that we wanted to rank for. So this is a whole nother page. We're going to name it homeschool in the United States, homeschool in the United States, the keyword homeschool in the United States, homeschool in the United States, pros and cons. And then we just sprinkle this throughout homeschooling in the USA is homeschooling legal in the US. 
and you'll just change this. Like I said, somebody else come through and and do this part right here. You know, you like I told you, you can leave the FAQs, the infographics, all of that alone. So right here in my area can be in the United States. Now, boom, you see, now you talk, now this, now we're making this, even though it was duplicate content, now we're making this completely unique. Now this page will show up for different keywords. Where are we at? I guess it ain't showing up yet. Hold on. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't published it yet. Okay. Now it should homeschooling in the United States. Where is it at? Oh, because it's all the way at the bottom. Boom. So now it's linking to this page, homeschooling in the United States. Homeschooling in the United States, baby. Yes, love it. Put the United States in there. Make sure it's linked. Publish. So then you just go through and you change the stuff that can be changed, you know, that stuff, like a lot of that can be, you know, you leave it the dang on sign, right? Can I afford to homeschool? Most of the questions are the dang on sign. So now what can you do to put a little bit of unique content on here? Watch this. We're going to put this divider right here and then we're going to put below are the states in the U.S. that allow homeschooling. Now, watch this. What states in the U.S. allow homeschooling? <laughs> um, put them in a list format. Okay. As of my knowledge, cut off in 2021, all 50 states allow. Here's a list. All right. And of course, you'll be interlinking. What I mean by that, you'll all of these different states will link back to the homeschooling city or state. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Meaning, whenever you clone out a homeschooling page for Alabama, this home page or this United States page will link to that you uh, that Alabama page. Do y'all understand? So now let's get some and put it on there. You'll also put cities on there as well. I don't know why I keep doing it. Okay, so we get 25. Hey, Missouri is number 25. Okay, so now we put that right here. So this is what's going to make it unique. Remember I said you want to put, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of unique content on there. And then now I'm going to get some more text. Bye. Like I said, this would be super fast. Like if you're doing it yourself and or if you got a VA doing it and you just got some music and you're not teaching the class because right now I'm teaching. So that's why it takes a little longer right now. I'm talking to y'all and making sure y'all paying attention. But look at that. Bop. Ah, there we go. OK. And then bow. Then we put we'll put United States laws for homeschooling. Notice I didn't put uh, I didn't put uh, by state or anything like that. All right, so we got this right here. We'll say rewrite the following in a more simplistic box, and then we come back over here, and then we'll put stop, stop, stop. Okay, come right here. We'll say for now these are the homeschooling laws at USA. Okay. Pull that down. Put a divider right here. And then we come over here and get this. Boom. And now we have everything. <laughs> this, this makes this page unique to the home page, doesn't it? Because now it has a little bit of content that is specific to the US because the keyword is homeschooling in the United States. So we got this section that's specific. We got this section that's specific. We came up here. Uh, we changed this right here, even though we couldn't, we didn't have to. And then we changed that right there as homeschooling legal in the United States. We didn't have to. We could have just changed that right there and then been on our way out. So that's how you want to structure it because now then you can come back. Y'all see, it ain't took nothing for me to do that. And I could just come back out here and then I can just clone this right here. So I'll just come back. So let's take this up to the top. 
right next to that one. Okay. And then we come back in here. We clone this one out. And then, boom, we started back in one like Brian McKnight. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to see. We're going to play the alphabet man game. Homeschooling. Remember, that was our keyword. Homeschooling in. Okay, so you see what pops up. So we're going to play the alphabet game. So what did that say? That said Alabama right there. So boom, Alabama's our keyword. So we want to see how competitive this is. Okay, we got this legal. Let's see what's number one. What is number one in Alabama? What the, what the game about? You understand what I'm talking about? Okay, it looked decent, man. They got some articles. They they optimized. They doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? They got the FAQ right here. Let's check this out. Alabama law. Mm, got a video right there. Nice, nice. Yeah, but it ain't messing with us, though. It ain't messing with us, though. Homeschool Alabama. Then we got time for learning. Like I was telling y'all, I told you. Duplicate content. Yeah, baby. Okay, so now, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So we're on the Alabama page. So I'm just going to say, in Alabama. In Greenbow, Alabama. My Forrest, Forrest Gump voice. Bop. ba da bop, bop, bop. I'm thugging it. Yes, Lord. And uh, I'm going to delete this link. Remove that link. Okay. Bow. Then I'm going to publish. That way that I can go ahead and uh, link to this. Where is it at? Oh, yeah. Still down at the bottom. Young David at the bottom of the map. Yes, Lord. Okay. And then we put homeschooling in Alabama. Is homeschooling in Alabama? Mama illegal. Now, remember, it needs to make sense, guys. You don't want to just clone this out and it don't make no sense. Remember what it said. So far, in all 50 states, homeschooling is legal. Like, yo, is the, is the door open or something? I'm seeing all these dang old weird flying creatures in here, like attracted to the light because it's dark out. Hey, make sure, come here and make sure this sliding door is closed all the way. Because I don't know how these creatures getting up in here. Hey, uh, you want to live in the jungle? This is what you got to deal with. I just seen the lizard fly past the dang on screen out there. All right, look. Look at all this. Make sure the door is, uh, the sliding door is locked and closed all the way. Like, I don't know how they getting in here. Yes, there's hell of them, right? <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, listen, if you watch it right now, man, like, hey, pray for me, man. Like, it's, it's giant like giant centipedes out in this mug and everything. But anyway, all right. So we'll change this right here. It says in my area, we're going to change that to Alabama. Alabama. You see how fast this can be knocked out? Because remember, the laws apply for all of the city, all of the states, I mean. All right. And then all of these questions apply to, to everybody. Can I afford to homeschool? You know what I'm saying? Uh you know, you can even change that to like, dude, is is homeschooling affordable in Alabama? You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, like it'll work. How can I balance? Yeah, all these questions like pertain to like all of the cities. And then now we just come on here and do the exact same thing we did down there. Bop. Okay, so we'll say cities in Alabama where homeschooling is most popular. <laughs> you see this? You see how simple this is? Bob, hold on. Now, me, I like to come through and then put a little bit of, you know, things to do in Alabama, you know, popular restaurants to visit while you're in town or something like that. I like to do all of that too, you know what I'm saying? So y'all can do that if you want to as well. But I'm just showing you how fast it is just to clone this stuff out. So now we come over here and we will type in uh, give me, or I guess we can do this over here. Give me um, shoot, 30 of the most popular cities in Alabama. Yeah. Damn, hold on. We got to tell it what to do. If you don't tell it what to do, it won't do it right. Write it in a listing format. All right. So y'all see how simple and fast this is. It's, 
is programmatic SEO. You're training Google to know what your site is about easily by creating an abundance of like super relevant and 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 topical uh, uh, authoritative, if that's a word, uh, content. You understand? You're not just going out there and putting crap out there. Like we're cloning out pages that got real good content on them. You understand? So before we clone them out, we make sure they got very good content on them and that they're answering all of the questions, right? So I don't even know what the heck Phoenix City is, but we'll throw that on there too. Okay. And then boom. So this is exactly what was going on when we went over there. We looked at the high speed internet website. Do y'all remember that? Like everything was the same. Only difference is they had a little section down at the bottom that said, uh, you know, nearby cities of blah, blah, blah. So we're doing that part right now. OK, we're doing that part right now. So as y'all can see, like it's very simple. All you need to do is, is create a, a super detailed, in-depth, awesome article expressing or answering what the keyword asks or what the searcher asks with the keyword. So now we're hyper local and hyper relevant. Those are the two things when you're doing like local SEO that you want to solve. And that's why I say sometimes I'll come in here and I'll put a little uh, best places to visit section and then it'll include the map, like Google map to those sections and stuff like that. All right. So for now, we can get going because I got to figure out why it's a dang on freaking a dang on infestation of flying creatures getting up in here. I don't know how they be finding their way in. I guess because they tiny, they can see little openings and stuff. Wow. <laughs> I need a Ghostbusters or something to go around spraying these mud. Dude, there's hell of animals in here right now. Wow. God. Hey, they getting me, man. They trying, they trying to make sure I get off of this live stream. Okay. But anyway, so do y'all see? So then we would just do the exact same thing for these. So as y'all saw, I only created this once and I can clone this out to the freaking Y Zoo. Like, like, look, look at this. Look, homeschooling in Atlanta. And, and, and look at all the A's. You know, you can go through all the A's. Austin, Australia, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? L, you know, M, whatever. Like, it's just so many keywords, right? Then you go to the B's. Bali, Barbados, Baltimore City. We don't know them other countries, but uh, Bay Area, Bakersfield, E, uh, Belgium, Belize, Berkeley County, Bermuda, whatever, Bend, Oregon, uh, BR, O, Boise, Idaho, I, Billings, Montana, Birmingham, uh, U. Look at all of these. So you can literally clone out hundreds and hundreds of this same exact page and won't get no freaking penalty as long as you go in here and put a little bit of whatever is unique to that specific area. Matter of fact, a another good thing you can do, watch this. Watch this, baby. Watch this, baby. Okay. Okay. I believe you, Wikipedia. So remember when I said you want to be hyper relevant with your content and hyper local if you're doing something local? Well, you want to put things on there on your site or link out to the stuff that only a person uh, or only a business that is in the actual area will link out to. So we're going to put a couple signals on here before we go, just so y'all can understand what I mean. I don't want y'all to walk, uh, you know, log off here confused. So bop, boom. So now we're linking out. This Alabama is linking out the Wikipedia page. But anybody can link out to Wikipedia. That doesn't mean we're local. So what will we be linking to if we were local? Oh, man, watch this. The Alabama Chamber of Commerce. Ooh, they ain't telling you this on other SEO channels, man. They trying to hide the game from you. So we'll go get that link. We'll come back over here, find another Alabama keyword. Where can we find another Alabama at? Come on. Give me another Alabama keyword. There we go. Bop. Oh, yeah, my bad. Let me do this. So you ain't going to be linking to this if you ain't in Alabama, for real, for real. 
you know, plus these are authoritative sites. Now, then we can go a little level deeper and we'll say better business bureau. It is a crazy amount, y'all, of freaking flying creatures up in here right now. Okay, so let's find one more. Then I got to go and figure out <laughs> where the hell they getting in here from. So we got Alabama. I thought we linked out from this one. I guess not. So, boom. Jesus. I have to figure something out with this. Okay. All right. So as y'all can see, so now this is completely different. You know, we got some duplicate content in here. We got some programmatic SEO. We were able to clone it out. There's three pages. Like it took us a little second to do the first page because I was explaining to y'all and showing y'all the format and all of that and putting the code and all of that stuff on. But truthfully, you can actually use AI uh, or chat GPT to create this page using the prompts that I gave y'all uh, in maybe five to seven minutes and have that mug looking good, you know, the hub page looking like that. And then once you got that one page, once you got that one page uh, zoned in, then you'll just simply come in here, you know what I'm saying, and cl uh, click on the uh, the copy button right there. And you can just copy until so you get to get through all of these dang on states by the end of the day. Like you got so much. And then you just go to the Google uh, search console, request indexing and stuff, even if it's a brand new site. You know what I'm saying? You got a better chance because don't forget, what did the Google Sandbox say? Sandbox. Okay, remember, like, that mug says that, okay, well, this is a different one now. But anyway, remember that mug said that, like, once you have a few pages ranking or whatever, that's when it really starts testing if you're going to be an authority or not, right? So we got to get our couple pages ranking first. And the best way you can do that speedily is to make sure that you have an abundance, make sure you have an abundance of pages created uh, before you go and apply for indexing. All right, man. So let me know what you guys think in the comments when you watch this replay back. I pray that you guys got some value tonight. Make sure you show up, set your alarms for five o'clock p.m. tomorrow. We will come back and do the same exact thing. Only difference is I will use a couple of you guys' websites and keywords and stuff like that as examples to get some traffic and sales to. All right. But use this structuring. Watch this back. Go back and watch this back from the beginning. Some of y'all came in the middle. Pause. Uh, go back and watch this back. And so you can see what we did at the beginning. See the examples at the beginning. So you know that you're not going to get penalized. And then, like, make a move, man, because there's no cashing without action. All right. So, y'all got any questions?